we just ordered some camel ice cream. Hey everyone, we just arrived at the Arabian Tea House and we're coming here today to try out Emirati breakfast food and some camel ice cream. So we're in the Al Fahidi historic neighborhood and it gives you a glimpse into what Dubai looked like before all of the skyscrapers. So the houses are the traditional style houses and the tea room has authentic Emirati cuisine. So I'm really excited to go inside and show you what it looks like and explain the different types of food to you. beautiful pot and we have to wait two minutes and then we're going to pour the tea. It's the Arabian Tea House specialty tea so it has saffron in it so I can't wait to try it. The waiter just brought us some bread. It's so cute! It's a real woody uh, flavor to it, and um, I like it. Really good, really good, and it's quite warming. Which, being in this air-conditioned place, like I'm actually quite cold. So this is like a nice little warm-up, which is weird because it's summertime. Really good. I like it. So look how cute this cup is. That's good. <laughs> I love it. I like the tea a lot. It's very good. Do you know what is it? No, can you tell us? A melon jam. Baked beans. Dango, chickpea. Fava beans, but it's called the Tajilla. The Dips Molasses. Craft cheese. And sugar cheese. The balalit with omelette. The vermicelli made with saffron and cardamom. Tangnoor bread. That one is shabab bread, local pancake. And that one is khamir bread. That made with saffron and egg and nice one and sesame on too. Now you enjoy your food. We've gotten our breakfast and um, it looks really really good. Like there's a little bit of everything and um, let's try it out. I'm gonna go for the simple option first. Baked beans. Beans on bread. Really creamy. They have like a lot of um, texture and a lot of flavor like that's really really good time for the chickpeas let's get a bit of the flavor is like really light very subtle but it's good like I like the um, liquid that it's in the sauce um, really really good it's kind of different like this is more thick and this is more airy but I like it Never had watermelon jam. It looks like marmalade to be honest, like yellowish. Kind of tastes like what watermelon jam would taste <laughs> like. It's like it's got that jam consistency but has a watermelon taste, so no surprises there. Alright, your turn. Okay, I'm gonna take the chip up bread and I'm gonna put some melted cheese and then I'm gonna get some date syrup then I'm gonna fold it in half and try not to spill and I spilled right <laughs> on the cutlery the bread the chapat bread is very sweet it tastes like pancake and the cheese 
cheese has such a light flavor that the date syrup, the date molasses, kind of takes over the flavor. So it's just very sweet. But the cheese and date molasses mixture is really good. Do you want to try the bajella? Yes. The fava beans, they're called bajella. So the waiter told us you take it and you peel the skin off of it. Hmm, it's a bean. It's really good. Mm, the closest thing I can describe it to tasting like is like refried beans. Oh, okay. Mm, very good. Oh. It's really good. Um, what else have we not tried? The main. Uh... The main. I'm gonna try the balali. So this is vermicelli with saffron, cinnamon, and cardamom. And then this is an omelet on top of it. So I'm gonna get a little bit of the vermicelli, put it on my plate, and a little bit of the omelet. So do you mix it? Yes. Or do you just... Uh... So I, I, I like to mix it. Okay. So I'm gonna take a bite of the egg with the vermicelli. Mmm, it's really nice. The cinnamon gives it a really sweet flavor. So the the rice, not rice, the pasta has a very sweet flavor because of the, the cinnamon. This is one of the typical Arabic, uh, one of the typical Arabic before. Okay. It's a traditional thing. All home, they do this. They do this just to, to give good, good, smell. good smell. And uh, other things that we own in our uh, religion. Yep. What is this? That's it called. That's gum. Gum. Actually, gum. Yeah. You put in a shurukun like this, and you keep it. Go around. Go around the house. Yeah, go around yeah. the house. I think for me, my favorite was the balali. So that was the vermicelli with the omelet. I also liked the bread with the cheese and the date molasses. Excellent. What about you, Ali? What was your favorite? My favorite was the bajlil. Bajela. Bajela. I have to remember that. My favorite was the bajela. Um, but yeah, overall, very really good breakfast experience. Um, two thumbs up. Okay. Thank you okay. so much. You're welcome. Thank you no, much. no, no sweets, no dessert. Ah, uh, no, I think just ice cream, the camel ice cream. Oh. The camel ice cream, it's really camel ice cream. Okay. It made with the camel's milk, okay. but it doesn't make any change. It just make it much, much, much better. Okay. okay. And the flavor that was the fresh camel milk, it's beautiful. So, we just ordered some camel ice cream. I've never tried camel milk before, so this is going to be a first for me. We ordered the dates camel milk ice cream and saffron camel milk ice cream, and then I'm not sure what the third scoop will be, so it's gonna be a surprise. This is your ice cream, camel milk ice cream. Okay. Chocolate, dates, and saffron. Okay, so this first one is the dates camel milk ice cream, and this one is the saffron. Saffron camel milk ice cream. And this one's just chocolate. Yeah, they just taste like just taste like regular ice cream. I have to say the chocolate is definitely my favorite. It's really good. How was, how was the food? Oh, the food was amazing. Really good. It was good. Really very, good. Very, yep. Yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so bye, bye bye. Thank you. Thank Have you very day. much. You're thank welcome. You. Bye bye. Thank Have a lovely sir. day. It tastes like a bit airy. It's a really deep smell to it. You can definitely taste the saffron and everything else. Yeah. You put in a shurukun like this and you keep it. Go around, go around, the, yeah, house, go around yeah. the house. Sometimes you, you put in your clothes. No. Not really, no. no. 